In this two week long unit, we'll be focusing on creative portraits. These can either be self portraits, portraits of friends and family, we'll even entertain the idea of pet portraits. You just need two pictures for each of the next sections and daily instructions can be found on Canvas. So the first thing we'll look at is reflections. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. The first being obviously mirrors. How can you incorporate mirrors creatively into your composition? How can you do something that no one's done before? Or how can you do something that someone's done before but do it even better? If you don't want to focus on mirrors, you could also mess around with the idea of water and reflections in water. Are there any places near your house where you could do this? Would you like to mess around with possibly photoshopping something? It doesn't have to be like a full face portrait either. I like this one that's just the arm. What about um, balls or crystal balls, ornaments? How can you find other reflective surfaces, maybe spoons? So the next section we're gonna focus on is gonna be shadow. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. Do shadows, um, fall creatively on the person's face in the portrait? What kind of textures or things could you hold up to the light to create shadow in this way? How can you be creative? What materials do you maybe have at home that could be cool? Another thing, what if the portrait itself is the shadow? So how could you stage a portrait in which you're being backlit and the shadow cast is interesting. What kind of mood could that create? So think about this one. And then the next thing is a double exposure. So we can actually create an image similar to this pretty easily. Uh, back in the day, double exposure was when somebody accidentally or purposefully exposed a piece of film twice and there were two images imprinted on the same piece of film. Nowadays people use different technology and I'll show you on um, this day of planning what kind of technology you can use on your phone to create this kind of image. So you need two of these as well. What about text? You could approach this in the double exposure kind of way digitally by superimposing words onto an image. You can type them out. You could um, screenshot song lyrics. You could Photoshop and mess around with the scale and size of the font. What about handwritten words? Could you print off a picture and write on top? Here are some that I did of some friends and family where I had them write notes about themselves or their friends and then um, superimpose those images on top of some film photography I had taken. What about writing on the actual person in the portrait? Like here in this graduation pic. Or um, on your face with eyeliner or washable marker. So you have a lot of options with text and I'm sure you could think of even more. Distortion. This is your final one. Um, the easiest thing to do here would be glass distortion and there's a lot of ideas and pictures online that you can look at think it's cool when you add water or other elements or multiple glasses, um, eyeglasses, magnifying glass, again a glass of water. If you don't want to go with the glass distortion, you can also um, kind of do something similar to what we did with the David Hockney lesson and digitally distort or even cut and print different images and put them together to create a sense of distortion. So, however you want to approach it, we have two weeks for this unit. Again, daily instructions are gonna be on Canvas. I really hope you enjoy, and um, just let me know if you have any questions, and have fun experimenting.